man, so don't say amen if you don't know what I'm talking about. Isn't that right? Amen. There is a word from the Lord. Amen. There is a word from the Lord. That word is found. The first one is in the book of Isaiah. The second one is in the book, the gospel recorded by St. Mark. Amen. You got Isaiah? Say amen. Amen. Isaiah 53 and 5. Isaiah 53 and 5. It said he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. Somebody say him. And with his stripes we are healed. Oh, y'all read, ain't you? Amen. Amen. You can't. Amen. And then and, and Mark 16, 6. Amen. And he said unto them, Be not afraid. Be not afraid. Ye seek Jesus of Nazareth. All right. Which was crucified. He is risen. He is not here. Behold the place All right. where they laid him. Yes. All right. Say him again. Yeah. You may be seated. We pray. Lord, we pray that you would use this your servant to your glory. Your word will be further clarified. Yes. And God, you be, your people, brother, be edified. Yes, and God, you be glorified. Yes. Use us now. Give us preaching power. Yes. And we'll be careful to give you the praise. Yes. In Jesus' name. Yes. And every heart said amen. amen. I want to use for a message from the Lord today. Amen. Keep preaching about him. All right. All right. All right. Yes, sir. All right. All right. Bible declares that in him we live. Yes. We move. Yes. We have our being. Yes. Amen. How many believe today that because of him yes, sir. we woke up That's this morning? Right. Because of him. We was clothed in our right mind. Because of him, we had a portion of life, health, and strength. Say amen. amen. If you agree with me. Amen. So keep preaching about him. Amen. We always tell, at least tell the Shady Road ministers, all the ministers that Russian Spring School of Theology, we call the word PTL. That's called preach, teach, and live. Amen. Amen. Preach, teach, and live. Amen. And be a good pastor because we got enough bad ones. Amen. Amen. Be a good one. I said we got enough bad ones. Amen. 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 You're going to be some. Be a good pastor. Amen. Isn't that right? Amen. And as you a good pastor, God will bless you. you and God will bless your people. Amen. Ain't that right? Amen. So preach about him. Yes. Teach about him. him. And then live for him. I often said it take about 23, about 30 minutes to preach. But you got 23 and a half hours left. To try to live about what you preached about. Amen. And don't, 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 don't fool yourself. Amen. God has charged you to declare his holy and righteous word. For we still believe today that the wages of sin is death. We believe that the gift of God is eternal life. We stand and declare the word, amen. You got to learn to say amen when they're with you. In other words, you got to preach when they're with you. You got to preach when they're not with you. You got to preach when they when they decide to stay at home. 
Because sometimes I learned that folk just forget to come to church, I guess. Amen. But they don't forget to call on and ask God to help them. But they don't forget to come to church. They don't forget to come on Wednesday night. They sure enough will be get, amen, to get to come to Sunday school. But you can rest assured they don't forget. Ask the Lord to help them. We'll have a witness here. So keep on preaching about him. As I said earlier, being a good pastor, we have enough bad ones. And it seems like sometimes, amen, folk will flock to somebody. Amen, that don't care nothing about you. Seems like they'll flock to the ones that really, really don't care about your soul. But then the one that really care about you seem like you want to give them hell. The one that really care about you seem like you want to push them to the side. But I've been around long enough to know now. Amen. It's God who keeps me. Boy, help me with this hell. I got to stand and declare God's word. No matter what, but it just seems even folk, amen, won't even give money to their church. But they be sending money, amen, in another look to somebody that they don't even know nobody about. Well, have a witness here, but, but then they turn around and say, I ain't putting no money in that church. Amen. The pastor getting all the church money anyhow. Amen. I ain't talking about nobody I'm just talking about what I'm talking about. But a God fearing pastor. I said a God fearing pastor will look at the members watching them grow. How you would give them the word. How you would spend time praying and teaching and preaching. You ought to you want to watch your people grow. It's like a man, it's like hot water. Amen. And you got three dimensions of hot water. You can put hot water, you put eggs in a hot water. Uh, and when they get well, they become hard. Do I have a witness here? Hey Amen. Pastor is not pleased when his folks is hard. That means they're hard to get along with. They're hard when they come to other folks having problems in their life. and keep on teaching. Well, have a witness here. Hey Amen. Another thing, he, 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 he put some hot water and put vegetables in it. And the vegetables will become soft. Hey Amen. He don't want no soft members. He don't want nobody. Hey Amen. When somebody step on their toes, hey Amen. They go high. Hey Amen. They quit. They give up. He don't want no soft members. But what he need, though, what he need, though, is take that same hot water. And make some coffee. And see what, what, what the coffee do. That coffee smell will get all in the house. Go have a witness there. I said that, that the aroma get all in the house. Amen. You send out the aroma of peace. You send out the aroma of joy. You send out the aroma of understanding. Because what? Amen. You are like
don't worry about just keep preaching about him let me tell you something today preaching is living I said preaching is living we all have a certain lifestyle so if you've been born again that means you ought to have a lifestyle of being saved Christians don't go around cussing Preachers don't go around cussing. I know some cussing preachers. They don't go around cussing folk. They don't have a witness here. Amen. You don't go around doing that. And he represents a genius. And I ain't never read what Jesus cussed nobody. Go have a witness there. And we ought to take up our cross. I think Jesus said, Any man who want to come after me, let him deny. Yes, you know so you need to deny yourself on Sunday morning when you need to be in Sunday school. You need to deny yourself on Wednesday, man. When you're trying to get you a quick nap, you need to deny yourself and go on the Bible study. Why are you always talking about Bible study? That's where you need to be. So keep preaching about him. Preaching is living. I believe here in Isaiah, this prophet of prediction to come. The Lord is showing us the prediction of Jesus in the hymn. Saying that he had to suffer at the hands of sinful men. To offer us his hand to pull us out of the life of sin. For the word said, what can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Or should I say, nothing but the blood of him. What can make me whole again? Absolutely nothing but the blood of him. Oh, y'all with me today, ain't you? Amen, amen. I want you to get it all. Because when you come back, amen, you treat your church better. You treat your pastor better. And amen. And when, when he look up Wednesday, he ought to see you. And you ought to see him. Isn't that right? I'm so glad the blood old folks had done sign my name. Yes, my brothers and sisters, today this means that Jesus Christ, amen, is working through us. We must keep on telling, we must keep on living about him. Isaiah 53 and 5, he said, but he was wounded. I said he was wounded. He wounded for our transgression. He was wounded for because we violated God's law. I said we violated God's law. Amen. And God looked at us and he had to have somebody to bridge the gap between a holy God and a sinful nation. So he sent him. For the word said he was bruised for our iniquities. In other words, the depth of our sin. Amen. We were so deep that we couldn't get out of it. But God loved us so much that he gave his only begotten son. And whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Don't you know the preach, amen, the foolishness of preaching? It's what caused folk to be saved. Don't you know the foolishness of preaching that will cause a storm to move over your neighborhood? Don't you know the foolishness of preaching will send blessings to your house when you know you don't of our peace was upon him. The Bible said with his stripes we are healed. For this reason we must continue to preach, teach, and live 